What's up everybody? I'm back with a brand new video and listen, we got to talk about it. Beyonce's renaissance is here. I've been telling y'all for the last few weeks that it's coming, it's here, and it's Beyonce's one of the most anticipated albums of that we have. You know, you don't get too many artists out now that you be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's like a handful of artists. You like, okay, like, I definitely can't wait for this album. And I think a lot of people have been very, but the, since I feel like COVID stopped a lot of things within the last couple of years. And you have to think about it. Like a lot of things got pushed back. Um, you know, the, the labels and teams, you know, tours, the, the, what, what they had planned. It had to come to a stop. But we're going to go ahead and get into this track list because I have not done a Beyonce album review since Lemonade. I've never done a Beyonce album review except for Lemonade. Uh, I was, you know, very young at the time. So, you know, the quality of cameras and just like still being a kid, you know, didn't have money to, I didn't have money to go and just up and get those things until, you know, I was about you know, 1920, and now I'm 26. So here we go. Renaissance. By the way, I can't wait for my pose number three. Did y'all see the poses? The poses came out. Pose one, two, three, and four. We, somebody said on Twitter, oh, so they were actually poses. She actually was posing. And I guess that's going to be the poster or the, or the shirt that we're going to get. So I'm like, I had no idea. I'm just thinking maybe she named Pose for different things. <laughs> Her team really has this on lock. The album seemed to have got leaked the day early. She posted on Instagram that, okay, it got leaked early. I'm so glad for you guys' patience. Um, let's just say the breakout single, Break My Soul. If you have not seen it, I did a review video to that. Hearing this record... It definitely, it's like, okay, now I know why the album sounds like this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all that I'm going to give the album a 10 out of a 10, not because I'm a fan. It's because of how different and how versatile that she is. I think that's so incredible that she was able to pull this off. Uh, my favorite songs are Cup. I, I like Alien Superstar, Alien Super, Alien Superstar, and I'm sorry. Shout out to the Dream because he damn near produced half of this album, and you got something from um, Pharrell and and Chad Hugo that's on here, and the whole Kali situation. Oh my God! You have Alien Superstar, Cuff It. When you listen to Energy, it seems like. It goes into Break My Soul, and I can see why. You can hear Big Freedom in the background, energy, and then it leads into Break My Soul. Break My Soul, if you listen to it, it sounds like half of this album, in a, in a way. Like, just the sound. Church Girl, she's kind of like singing in the beginning, and kind of just, you know, working her way up into the, you know, the bridge and all the other stuff. Pure and Honey. I like that too. Pure and Honey sounds a lot like Alien Superstar. Let me just say something about those two songs. If you listen to it, it you can definitely hear the gay inspiration in those songs. Now, I just want to say that I, I think a lot of people are starting to, they have for the last few years, just really trying to show that they support it and they never have done it before. And I can kind of see that Beyonce is kind of for in a way. But sometimes I think sometimes her team is behind a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm That Girl is very cute and cozy. And uh, by the way, a lot of these songs are charting very fast on the iTunes charts. I've seen it. Go check out the stats. I just wish I could be in those offices and be like, oh, okay, this is selling a lot of people effing with this. Like, I want to see, like, what are the numbers like? What are the numbers doing? Classic off the sofa. It's cute. Virgos. Virgos grew. It's cute. You know, she's a Virgo, so she did a thing on it. 
most of these songs, first of all, <laughs> she got thick on there, but she spelled it T-H-I-Q-U-E. I am actually going to finish listening to the album again. I've already listened to it one time. I listened to half of it this morning. Um, it dropped at 12 on midnight. And it's so crazy because I went to bed early last night, something I don't normally do. And I woke up right at like 12, 29. I was like, oh, Renaissance is here. Like, I can't miss that. Like, let me listen to it. And I listened to the whole thing. And I didn't go to bed until like, what, two, maybe three. Because I was up doing other stuff on social media or whatnot. But guys, this album is a masterpiece. 10 out of a 10. And I'm not just saying that, but, you know, I'm not just saying that there is actual, she is showing a, a, a lot of vocal ability on this one, too. Now, she's not singing her ass off on the album, but it definitely has a lot of Vogue ballroom inspiration. It has a lot of just her just having fun. It sounds like she was just having fun on that album. And I do feel like it's some other new stuff on the way. Definitely. I feel like Break My Soul is going to have a video. And I feel like maybe some new surprises that we don't know coming. Is she going to tour? We're going to have to see because I don't know. But y'all, thank you guys so much for watching. Which one is your favorite song? Because I, I think that this album deserves a coin. Can't wait for my box to come in with my physical CD and all my stuff. What's your favorite? Subscribe. Follow my social media. I have some new things coming. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. And that is my album review. It's County Brown Mine. It's County Brown Mine.